that it, where it isn't expected. Um, but Mac Horton also has his plenty of experience at the Commonwealth Games. Seven Commonwealth Games gold uh, got medals for him. Um, but you know, Elijah Winnington trains alongside some of the best swimmers in the team, coached of course by Dean Boxwell. Thorpey with the Commonwealth record from Fukuoka in 2001 and the Commonwealth Games record from Manchester in 2002. And that Biederman record has stood since the Super Suit era of 2009. So Elijah Winnington, lane four, Mac Horton, lane six, Tom Dean, the Olympic champion, lane three, and the Olympic silver medalist, Duncan Scott, in lane five. Those middle lanes, three, four, five, and six. And Elijah going for the double. Take your mark. Both of the Aussies got away pretty well. In fact, they all did through the middle of the field. Those middle lanes strong. Sates of South Africa in lane one with a very busy program, as we know. Ten swims with the relays and individual races. And Richards also of Wales in lane two got away nicely. Now the field starts to settle down and the Olympic champion's going to turn at the 50 in front. It's Dean, Sates and Richards. Mac Horton in seventh spot and Elijah Winnington in a tie with Duncan Scott for four. Yeah, Elijah Winnington's in the best lane, not only because he is in lane four, but he's between the best two swimmers, has the advantage of being able to see who's on both sides of him. Looking at the smooth stroke from Duncan Scott, it's quite even, slightly different head position where he swings it back in into the neutral position when he's looking down at the bottom of the pool. But it's still Dean who's in front, but it's Scott that's moving ahead in this 50. This 50 is what sets you up for the next one. And you do that within this next 10 metres. So the red mark here that you see on your screen, that's 15 to go. That's where you prep for the next 50 metres. One largest coming through. One and two of the Olympic Games. Our leaders, Tom Dean in lane three, Duncan Scott in lane five. Scott gets in front and Winnington, 0.59 of a second behind the lead. What has he got left, the Aussie? Matthew Richards from Wales in lane two also finding something. Increasing his stroke. Winnington's getting closer, moves up alongside Dean. Scott's in front, the Olympic silver medalist. Winnington keeps coming, might not be enough distance. Scott's going to get it done. What a win this is. The Scott from Scotland first, Dean second, and Elijah Winnington with a bronze medal. Wow, that was an amazing race. Tom Dean really took it out so hard at the start he looked so balanced but then Duncan Scott built through that 200 meter didn't he it was that middle section of the race where he really started to gain this is this is why having an efficient stroke is so important um, so even when I was mentioning the head twist down it's slightly different to what we usually see from a swimmer you want balance Elijah Winnington next to uh, Dean Scott here uh, sorry Tom Dean here um, on the right hand of screen but he was behind, and this is where we see Elijah Winnington do some work to actually get back into the game. Elijah was just off his best time in that, um, just by a few one hundredths of a second. So good to back up after the 400 uh, to be able to do that, and also off swimming a relay swim this morning for Elijah Winnington. And looking across at Mac Horton, just outside of the, of, of the medals as well. So good swim from Mac. Yeah, finished in fourth spot and celebrating with Duncan Scott there. So that was a great race, wasn't it? Great race. Scotland and England well represented and the crowd loving that and the Aussies.